He's definitely one of my favorite characters that I've played on TV or in video games. Uh, because, I mean, there's the obvious that he's super cool and uh, it's fun to play somebody so cool. Uh, but th for me, the most interesting thing is that I have my version of Jensen. And I think there's a version of Jensen that is unarguable, which is like the fact that he has a sense of justice and he has a sense of what he believes is the truth. And that's what he wants to find, no matter what. That's overarching with Jensen, that's always gonna be there. But what you also have with Jensen is whoever you want Jensen to be. And particularly in this game, in Mankind Divided, you have many different versions of him that you can explore. And the fun thing about an actor, about being an actor playing him, is that I have to justify whatever your choice is for this character, whether I personally think Jensen would do that or not. So you can make a choice for Jensen, and I have to play that choice and give it as much uh, emotion or a realism or nuance or whatever I would do for my choice. And that's what makes playing a character like him so interesting because he's not really one straight character. He's whatever you want the character to be. One thing I'm really happy about with this game is um, the fact that I got to performance capture uh, pretty much all of Jensen, except for maybe some of the takedowns and some of the stunts. It's, it's pretty much all me uh, that you see when you see Jensen. And the, the really interesting thing is I'm five foot 10 inches and Jensen is six foot four inches. We're about six three, I think. So they had to stretch me. So they had to kind of write a little bit of a new program to, a little bit new programming, I should say, that helped them to stretch it. And at first they weren't sure if they were going to be able to do it. Uh, properly in, in relation to other characters and things like that. And I was a little worried I wasn't going to be able to performance capture, but to their credit, they they fixed it for me, and then I got to performance capture the, the entire game. I didn't get to do a lot of that in the last game, and I'm really happy that I got to do that with this one, uh, because performance capture for me is a great way to just throw in kind of subtle things that only voice voicing a character doesn't get, or you don't have the control of as an, as an actor. The great thing about Jensen is that no matter what you choose as a player, there is always an overarching sense of justice. In Human Revolution, he had, uh, he always had that sense, but he wanted to find out what happened to him. He wanted to know where the woman he loved was why he got into this situation. And in Mankind Divided, that's all in the past now. And what's driving him is the truth. And why is the world in this state? And because whether he likes it or not, whether he asks for it or not, he is the one person who is augmented and doesn't need the drugs that other augmented people need. This whole world conspiracy, this whole world that has changed because of something that he went through. He is at the center of it. So now he wants the truth. He wants the people who are responsible for the state of the world brought to justice. And that driving goal, that narrative, makes him um, a fascinating character to live through in this game. I too have a sense of I mean, I think many people do, most people do. They have a sense of justice and a sense of what they think is right. Uh, and the world is not black and white. And Jensen is in a unique situation where, you know, he's, he's augmented. So he sees these uh, atrocities happening to augmented people. But he also lives in this world where he can control his own destiny. He is very empathetic. Uh, of both sides of any argument. So you can see him saying, I understand why you're afraid of augmented people. But he can look at augmented people and say, I understand why you're afraid of the world and of non-augmented people. And that sense of empathy is something that I can really relate to in Jensen. And I think that always played through, no matter what I played, no matter what scene I played in the character, hopefully that came through.